Okay, so we've covered how to make your character kind of do something. We've covered nesting um, and the basics of keyframes. So now we're going to go ahead and go into um, masks. So masks are, are kind of useful. They're important. It's, it would be a little bit like creating a mask in Photoshop, so a layer mask. Um, and you can mask almost anything you want to. So if it's a, just a single image, like if you just want to go in here and you want to like kind of do something to one of your layers, you can mask a layer. I'm going to show you how to mask a whole comp just because that'll, I think that'll be um, useful for y'all. Um, but it doesn't really matter. A mask kind of works the same. You can mask whole pieces of video footage if you would like to. So, um, so if you come up here, a mask, uh, you know, up here in the toolbar, there are all these different options like we went over at the beginning. Um, again, you don't, don't use a ton of them usually, but uh, if you click on the pen tool here, the pen tool is going to give you some options on things that you can sort of sort of uh, do right so just like in Illustrator if you click once and then click again it's gonna draw a straight line if you click and drag it's gonna give you the bezier curve right so that's a nice way to create nice curves um, and you can see that when I completed that little shape there the thing in the center went away and I got a new thing down here in my twirl twirl downs which is the mask right and so the mask is it basically the only thing I can see now is what's inside the hole that's created around the mask. So if I reverse it and I go subtract, it will mask only the things that are within that shape that I just made, the Bezier curve shape. If you don't like a mask, you can just select it down here in, the, um, in there and just delete it, right? So it'll get rid of it. So let's say I wanted to just just only have like the upper torso here visible in this in this particular comp and remember it's the same comp I've just cut and pasted over and over again but it's treating it like a layer so if I zoom in on it a little bit hold down the shift key to give you the uh, hand if you want to move stuff around on your screen okay so then I grab this pen tool I can click on it and drag a little bit and then click again and I could kind of mask around the parts that I actually want to leave, um, you know, that I actually would like to show up, have show up in my um, composition. So, uh, you know, again, many, many options on how this can go. They can be straight, they can be curvy. It's really up to you, but I'm just going to finish. So now when we do that, you can see that it's masked out everything that was on the outside of our mask. And now when this thing um, moves through the composition, you know, I'm only going to see the head moving instead of the whole body. So that's just a nice way to like mask something. Again, that's why I guess they call it a mask, right? So, um, but you know, this is a little bit, it's a little bit of a clunky kind of looking mask, right? So it's got like hard edges and sometimes you want to adjust them. And so like everything else in After Effects, if you twirl down, there's a million options that live underneath that and it can get really confusing. It's very much of a rabbit hole, but if you want to expand or contract your mask, so if you want to make it a little bigger, you can like expand out from the edges. And so here you can see I'm expanding it. If you want to contract it a little bit, that can be nice sometimes just to cut a little bigger and then contract. But you can see the edge is pretty hard, right? I mean, it's got this hard line around it. It's going to look kind of goofy. So that's where I can actually feather, feather my mask. So I can like um, make the edges of that mask fuzzy if I want to, which makes it, again, look a little more sort of vignetted, right? Um, then I can change the expansion if I want to. And, you know, there's lots of options that you can do here. So like everything else in, in After Effects, um, I can absolutely um, keyframe it. So I can click the stopwatch and I can keyframe the mask expansion. So if I want it to, you know, go from, you know, point minus eight, pixels there and then I want it to get really small by here I can just keyframe that thing right and it'll it'll move it's moving kind of fast right now but it'll move uh, yeah it'll change it so there's just no end to the cool things that you can kind of do with keyframes right and of course if you don't like keyframes just click there um, so you can keyframe opacity you can keyframe your feather you can do anything you want just be careful because you can spend 10 hours on this. The, the last thing I want to show you about masks is that you can keyframe a mask, which is kind of useful. Let's say you have a piece of footage where like something's moving and you, you really want to just cut that out, but you don't want to deal with the, um, you don't really want to deal with the, um, the rest of the object. So 
there's a thing down here called a roto bezier and that'll kind of do it almost automatically for you if you want to do it that way um but uh what what you kind of can do is you can come up here to your mask path and you can keyframe it so if i click here that's going to drop a keyframe right and i can grab one of these points and i can like sorry sometimes you have to um you got to kind of double click it let's see that's the whole thing click off and drag there you go so i just have this one point right and so now I can kind of move this thing around if I, let's say I wanted to bring it in here like that and I can adjust the, the curves on it and everything else just like in Illustrator, but it's over time. So now if I move the thing to a different spot and I just grab this and drag it over, I'm able to adjust all of the, the same, um, yeah, sorry, sometimes it gets kind of confusing, but Oops. There we go. Um, sometimes you have to click off and click back on, and it gets yeah, it can be kind of finicky. But um, yeah, so now I can just grab just individual points, and they're all keyframing, right? So and it's going to interpret between that point. So it starts off there, it ends up there. So that can be a really slick way to kind of key, like kind of knock just a moving object out of a background or something like that. Um, so that is masking, and so masking can be really useful if you want to, um, you know, just keep a part of something going. And again, we've, we're keyframing off a, just a piece of the um, of a comp. And then again, if I don't like the mask, I can always like we could turn a mask off for sure. Like just come down here and go none. It'll just give you back the whole thing. Um, add subtract. So if you just want to keep the you want to make that like a black thing that's blocking something, you can do that. Um, yeah, there's lots and lots of things, but it's just punching a hole through to your background color. So if you don't have, if you have a white background or something, you're going to get white instead of black. There. So, but you can make shape layers with the, with the pen tool. You can, um, just like in Illustrator, this is all vector based. So everything in here kind of works the same way. And uh, yeah, that's the basics of how, um, a mask works in comps.